Nestled away in Beaver Creek, right near the ice skating rink, you'll find Paderewski Fine Art. And joining me now is the owner, Michael Paderewski. Hi. Hello. Uh, you and Mark Sassy are friends, huh? We're very good friends. You're We've been Mark for years. Chit-chatting about your kids, so you must have a couple little kids. Uh, I've got three boys, oh uh, my gosh. seven, nine, and eleven. Okay, so were they just fi or were they conked out at like nine o'clock last night? They were. Yeah. First day in, first day skiing. They enjoyed it. You took I them skiing it. on Christmas? Uh, my wife did. I oh, worked. So because you. At the gallery, I was at the gallery working. Mm -hmm. uh, I gave our director off, so she's earned it. And you know, it was a nice morning for me to kind of acclimate a little bit. So right, I know because after Christmas, it's like the parents have to kind of calm down a little bit and to be in your art gallery and looking at all the great pictures. That must just be a, a soothing feeling for you. It's nice, it's very relaxing. How long have so. you had the shop? Uh, I've had the gallery in Beaver Creek now through three expansions. We're going on oh. about. 13, going on 14 years now. Okay. Um, but founded it in Atlanta and I was there for 15 years and we just moved our Atlanta gallery about two and a half years ago to Charleston, South Carolina. Okay. So, yeah. so art is your background? Uh, art is my background. I've got mm -hmm. business uh, and art background both. And is there so. something in your galleries that we're gonna that is gonna be a theme? Do you like animals? I noticed when I was up there, you have a lot of really cool knives. Yes. So uh, the gallery started in the southeast as the Sportsman's Gallery. Mm -hmm. When I brought it out here, we diversified and actually renamed to Paderewski Fine Art, but kept the name the Sportsman's Gallery. So mm -hmm. my specialty is 19th century to contemporary sporting and wildlife subjects, mm -hmm. but we have a significant uh, grouping of contemporary temporary and you've probably seen it here with everything from the architecture design there is a paradigm shift in decor uh, and taste so we and that's one thing we're featuring right now we've got a couple of our contemporaries uh, this week we've got a, a showing in new works by Bill Harrison who is a almost photorealistic uh, graphite artist and then we've got fresh works by Iva de Groot from the Netherlands so yeah, this is one of Bill Harrison's uh, graphite pieces he considers himself a portrait painter and that's Iva de Groot from the Netherlands um, who has just it's astounding what he's done in the United States, but he's already in the permanent collection of the National Museum of Wildlife Art in Jackson, uh, as well as the Lee Yawkey Woodson Museum in Wausau, Wisconsin. Uh, another one of Ivid's. Um, he does these very serene, uh, a lot of times it's almost shades of blues, grays against warm browns and yellows, mm -hmm. and that can be his entire palette. So. So when you're looking at the at these pictures in your gallery, do you usually tell people that they need to group them together or can you buy individual pictures and how does that work? Art to me is a matter of taste mm -hmm. and there are a lot of people who depend on their designers and so forth and I think it's nice to work with them but it's personal. You yeah. know, you're the one living with it mm -hmm. day in day out. You walk past it every day. So I feel that people should uh, you know, and do you want to decorate around the art or buy the art around the decor? Mm -hmm. It's, you know, Chicken of the egg. This is um, a one. Yeah, this is a new piece by uh, Ron Kingswood from Toronto, Canada. Um, Ron actually shows with us. He's getting ready to do another show in the UK, um, but also uh, in the National Museum of Wildlife Art in Jackson. The bald eagles I love. It's called the Disciple. It tells mm -hmm. a nice story of the young eagle in the old one. And this one's called the Gleaners. So he himself, uh, a lot of people feel uh, he and I would both have been kind of named as these contemporary artists who are bridging the gap between fine art and kind of a wildlife art. Um, Ron Kingswood actually, most of his compositions are extremely sparse, uh, barren, and they're usually composed of geometric shapes and then he places the birds where he feels uh, they best fit, not mm -hmm. a portrait whereas Bill Harrison's are truly portraitures in a very refined, tight And we can style. find both of those artists up at your gallery. They're all in there now. Yeah. A lot of wonderful fresh works, Good. and uh, we're excited for the uh, winter season. Okay, so it is time to go shopping up in Beaver Creek. Go meet Michael at Paderewski Fine Art. What time do you open today? Today we'll be open at 10, and during the holiday season, we're going to be open till 9. All right, Very well, nice don't show. work too hard. Get out there with yeah. those kids. Go sledding with Mark Sassy. I know that's they what he was talking about. Dangerous. Take time to play, okay? All thank right. you, Michael. Well, Thanks thank for coming in guys. today. Paderewski Fine Art can be found up in Beaver Creek. Ty Diaz can also be found up there. So we're going to head up to Beaver Creek right now and check in with Ty.